Hey son, since you did so well in school this year, we bought you a brand new Subaru. <gasps> Thank you, it's perfect! Pretty much everyone's ridden a bike at least once in their lives. Whether you ride your bike to school, ride to work, you just ride for fun, or you're a clown that rides a tiny bike to chase their victims. When I was younger, bikes were the bomb. Bikes gave us so much freedom, allowing us to go and do almost anything we wanted. Want to go to the park? Bike! Want to go to super cool places like the doctor's office? You got a bike! Or you could just go to the best place ever, the corner store. Now, if you don't know why the corner store is amazing, then you didn't have a childhood. Because on those days where you were allowed to ride to the corner store, you damn well knew it was going to be a good day. Hanging out, playing video games, eating candy till you puke. Blech. At the corner store, you could also buy the most cursed popsicles ever. Just look at these. Who thought this was okay? Anyways, basically only happy things happen at the corner store. Wait, what about that time? Don't remind me of- Spit it out already. Fine. On one of these so-called weekends, my sister and I were very bored. And by using our childlike charm, we convinced our mom to give us some money to go buy some extremely healthy food at the corner store. Jackpot! I, being the super cool kid that I am, decided to ride my bike while my sister walked the dog behind me. After we finally arrived, I forced my sister to wait outside with the dog while I consumed the entire store. After purchasing the entire store, I went back outside to watch the dog so my sister could buy whatever she wanted. While waiting for my sister, I noticed I was standing right beside a garbage can that was being swarmed by a boatload of bees. And for some reason, it never registered in my child-sized brain that I shouldn't stand two feet away from a beehive. Hey buddy, see that beehive over there with all those angry bees? Well, you probably shouldn't stand so far away from it. Maybe you should move closer. And I think you can guess what happened next. You got stung, didn't you? Yeah, I got stung. Right in the leg armpit, which is like, the worst spot, might I add. And as a kid, bee stings were one of the worst pains you could experience, so I obviously started to cry. When my sister finally came out of the store, she just saw her small, frail little brother bawling his eyes out on the curb. But since she was also quite young at the time, she had no idea what to do, and she kind of just said, get up and walk. But you may remember that I rode my bike here, so little old me had to push my bike back home, which was surprisingly heavy for me back then. As kids, we often made super cool mods to our bikes to make them even cooler. Actually, I don't even know if you could call them mods, more like DIY? The most common mod we made to our bikes was making them sound like super awesome motorcycles. To do this amazing thing to our bikes, we'd shove our beloved Pokemon cards into our tires, making the legendary motorcycle sound we desired. We would also use empty plastic water bottles to do the same thing, but they could be a little hard to get as a 9 year old. <laughs> Stop eating it! It's not food! Whenever we did this super complex mod, we felt like the coolest kids alive, for no reason other than that our bikes now sounded cool. Do they know that they're barely moving? No, no they don't. As kids, we all did incredibly dumb things, and adding bikes to that just gave us another item to do stupid things with. For example, a couple kids in my neighborhood often played one of the stupidest games I have ever heard of. You may be saying, Well Tyler, what's the game called? It can't be that bad. These dummies called their game Bike Tag, and it's exactly what it sounds like, tag while riding a bike. These kids would literally chase each other around on their bikes while attempting to touch or push the other off the bike, which is just asking for something to go horribly wrong. Hey guys, what are you doing? Oh, we're playing Bike Tag, wanna join? That is one of the dumbest, idiotic, stupidest things that I've ever heard. Is that a yes? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna get you. At the same time as learning how to ride my bike, the kindergarten I was at had these tricycle things called swing cars. If you don't know what these are, they're basically these little carts with the steering wheel that when you turned it, it would push the cart forward a little. So to move the car, you'd have to aggressively turn the steering wheel back and forth. To me as a kid, they were so awesome that we'd fight each other over it. Push, shove, curb stomp the occasional kid just to ride one of these amazing contraptions. We also had a small track painted on the concrete in the playground, which we'd race each other on while ramming into each other's shins, which hurt like hell, but it was still one of the best memories I have from school. What I'm basically trying to say in this video is that uh, as a kid, bikes were awesome, and if you never had one, you had no childhood, you frickin' loser. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I hope you liked the video. I'm sorry my upload schedule is uh, legitimately garbage, but uh, I'm working on that. Uh, thanks a whole bunch to Bryson from Hammond Nations. Uh, he did a great job with the lines, and uh, you should check him out. His link is in the description. And... Uh, I made a new Discord server, so if you'd like to join, go into the description, it's in the description, uh, join that, I'm gonna be active in there every time I upload a video, uh, yeah, 
show your art, join, talk to people, make new friends, all that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that. Uh, and yeah, see you guys later.